Welcome to another video. Today we are making easy, vegan, and healthy summer snacks. Perfect for summertime. So we thought we would take you along with us and show you the recipes. You ready, Scout? <laughs> Scout, what do you want to make first? Brownies. Brownies? We're not making brownies today. I mean... Popsicles! Okay, let's do it. Mommy, get me! All these recipes are vegan, whole foods focused, and healthy for the family. And I'll leave the full recipes in the description box below for you guys. gonna make the popsicles but before I do I also want to let you know that if you would like more of my recipes that are whole foods plant-based that are healthy but also super delicious and satisfying for the whole family definitely check out the link below to my website ellenfisher.com and you can check out my ebooks and my newest ebook which I recently released is epic vegan cravings which I highly recommend it is so good it is my favorite ebook I've ever created filled with your favorite craving foods that are both veganized and healthified and I really hope all of you who have already gotten the ebook are loving it okay let's get into the rest I'm going to make some raspberry lemonade popsicles. It's my first time making this, but I wanted to add some dragon fruit in here this time. I just think it'll be a nice twist and add a really extra pretty pop of color. Yep. Okay, first add a cup of frozen raspberries and a cup of frozen dragon fruit to the blender. Then add one and a half cups of coconut water, five tablespoons of maple syrup, and six tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Blend until smooth, then pour into your popsicle molds. Freeze for about an hour, then insert popsicle sticks and continue to freeze overnight. These popsicles are so refreshing on a hot summer day and have a fun twist on a classic summertime lemonade. Feel free to use strawberries instead of dragon fruit, that's what's available to you, and this recipe makes about 12 popsicles. Next, I'm super excited about this one. It's crispy baked tofu with vegan barbecue sauce, and my kids seriously love it. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees and wrap a block of firm tofu in a towel and place a heavy object on top of it for five minutes to press the excess liquid into the towel. Next, stir together a quarter cup tamari and two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Cut the tofu into rectangles and coat each piece in the marinade. Place the tofu on a parchment lined baking sheet and spread the remaining marinade on top of the pieces. Bake for about 35 to 40 minutes, flipping them halfway through. make the barbecue sauce, stir together a quarter cup of maple syrup, three tablespoons of tomato paste, two tablespoons lemon juice, one tablespoon of coconut aminos, one teaspoon apple cider vinegar, a quarter teaspoon liquid smoke, and a quarter teaspoon each of paprika, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. This snack is satisfying and fun, protein rich, and so good for you. Next up is an easy garlic hummus that we make all the time in our family. Chop 10 cloves of garlic and saute them in a bit of water. Keep adding water to the pan, stirring occasionally, until the garlic is soft and smells amazing. Rinse and drain two cans of chickpeas and add to a blender or food processor. Add two tablespoons of tahini, the juice of one lemon, half a teaspoon each of salt and pizza seasoning, and half a cup of water. Pour 
pulse or blend until well combined. Adding more water if needed to get the blades moving and using the tamper, but do not over blend. We like to enjoy this hummus with veggies or crackers, but I've also fallen in love with enjoying it with our next recipe, garlic hummus toast with blistered tomatoes. This delicious toast feels so indulgent, but it's made with just a few fresh and healthy ingredients. A whole wheat sourdough bread is the perfect base. I thickly slice a few pieces and toast them in my toaster. Preheat a pan on medium heat, then add a splash of water to get it a little wet. Add a pint of whole cherry tomatoes and cook for one minute without moving the tomatoes or touching the pan. Then cook for five to seven more minutes until blistered, stirring the pan several times to blacken all sides of the tomatoes. The tomatoes will begin to pop and break open as they sit on the pan. Turn down the heat and drizzle with one tablespoon balsamic vinegar and one tablespoon of white balsamic vinegar and stir together for a minute. Then use a fork to mash the tomatoes into a jammy consistency. Finally, turn off the heat and add a quarter teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Layer the sourdough toast with the easy garlic hummus and some fresh basil. Top with the blistered tomato jam and sprinkle with salt and pepper. Now we're gonna make chocolate omega frozen bananas. Peel six ripe bananas and put a popsicle stick in each and place in the freezer. Meanwhile, make the chocolate sauce by stirring together three tablespoons of cacao powder, three tablespoons of maple syrup, one teaspoon vanilla, and three tablespoons of melted coconut oil. Take out the frozen bananas after at least an hour and spread the chocolate sauce over them with a spoon. Quickly sprinkle on hemp seeds or chopped walnuts and finish freezing overnight. This creamy, omega-3 sprinkled cold snack is perfect for kids and adults alike in the summer. Lastly, we're gonna make a batch of carrot cake muffins. I start by making one batch of oat flour in my blender. It's just rolled oats blended until fine. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Add two and a half cups of the oat flour to a large bowl. One cup of rolled oats, a tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon salt, two tablespoons of almond butter, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of vanilla, three quarters cup maple syrup, three quarters cup plant milk, one cup grated carrot, half a cup grated apple, and one quarter teaspoon nutmeg. Stir until well combined. Bake for 15 minutes, then let cool before taking out of the pan. These muffins are wholesome and delicious and perfect to have on the go whenever you're needing a quick bite. I hope you thoroughly enjoy these recipes. They are definitely family favorites right now for us. And I will see you next video. We thought we would just take you along with us. Ugh. No! <laughs> okay, no more. Got it? Shake my hand. No more. Okay, get it all out of your system. Go ahead. Get it all out. Any more? Any more? Is there any more left in you? You do like it. All right. So we thought we would just take you along with us and, oh, <laughs> no more boobies. <laughs>
Okay, no more. No more. Okay, no, but no, seriously, no more. You can make blue beans while we're making the recipe, okay? Got it? Shake my head.